Hello once again everyone, this is Grant Bulwer from Skyrim Project Stability. I'm coming to you this evening to discuss the Nexus Mod Manager and a few helpful tricks and tips to keep you uh, running uh, as efficiently as possible with this particular mod manager, which is currently my preference. Now for this example, uh, I'm going to show you both how to create an archive and how to uh, access the mods that are currently in your folder, in your mods folder. Now, first of all, this is the mods tab and this is the plugins tab. The plugins tab displays your load order and the mods tab displays everything that you either have added to the Nexus mod manager, indicated with an X, and everything that you've added to both the mod manager and the game, which is indicated with a green check mark. Now, as you can see, uh, there are quite a few features uh, here on the left hand corner. We're only going to cover a few of them. Um, usually, I like to download all of my mods manually and then either drag or drop them to this uh, mods tab or add them. Through the add mod from file. I do not use the download with manager button that is found on many files on the Nexus. Uh, on that note, uh, to get to all of your mods that you have currently added to NNM, you open the NNM mods folder uh, button right here. Now here you have access to all of the archives to the original mods. This is, of course, not to be confused with uh, the game folder because none of this stuff is in use by the game. It is the original form in which you downloaded the mod, uh, making it useful for papyrus debugging and basically just looking through uh, everything you have installed. Uh, now for this, I'm going to teach you how to create a potentially conflicting texture pack. Now, for this, I am going to use uh, one mod, and we're going to assume that it's more than one. Um, this is, of course, a directory that I've already created, but we're going to create a new one for the purposes of this. I'm going to drag and drop these textures to my desktop, so just bear with me for one moment. Um, basically, the functionality of NNM is uh, very simple. You can either have a category view using that button or a length view. Uh, you can also see if your mods are updated over here on the right. Um, and you can endorse mods that you have yet to endorse, which is indicated by the star here. Uh, now back on to what we were discussing, the textures that I just dragged and dropped to my desktop, we are going to assume are from multiple mod sources. So let's uh, format them as such. Oftentimes you'll have multiple textures folders with uh, different entries in them. So what we'll do is we'll make a new, we'll act as if these textures are from mod B, whereas these are from mod A. If you were to drag and drop them to the same folder, textures, and then create a new folder titled data, then use a program like jzip to create an archive, uh, name it example in this case, it will then compress it into an archive, uh, a zip archive, which is compatible with the Nexus mod -Man. Now, when that is complete, there are two different ways that, I, that you can add mod. 
to the mod manager itself. Um, this is this particular method, creation, creating your own archives, is uh, useful for adding multiple mods at one time or creating a compilation of mods uh, that you can add or remove all at once. Uh, we are completed with the archive, so what we'll do is we'll add mod from file, and the file's from my desktop, so we'll go to example, zip, and double click it. And as you can see, it is now adding that mod to the manager. Um, this is wonderful, like I said, for creation of compilations, especially uh, when certain things will conflict from one mod. You can merge all of the mods, meshes, textures, scripts, uh, ESPs, and whatnot into a single archive and add them so you don't have to worry about overwriting them later. Uh, once it adds the mod to the manager, I'll be able to explain a bit further. Okay. Now, example has been added. Now, as you can see here, example is not active and it's unassigned. That is because it's my archive that I created. Uh, now, uh, double clicking it will activate it. And it's literally as simple as that. Uh, the only downside to creating your own compilations is if the original mod is updated, you then have to update your example and re add it to the Nexus Mod Manager. Um, basically, uh, that's about the long and short of the functionality of the Nexus Mod Manager, at least pertaining to Skyrim. Um, other general tips, if you're ever having difficulty, uh, downloading a mod with the Manager button, download it manually, and then drag and drop it to the Mods tab. Uh, once again, this is Grand Bulwark signing off. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it, and feel free to post any questions or concerns you might have on the forums. Thank you.